Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a get ready with me on this look using a bunch of products that I purchased before my makeup no buy started. If you'd like to get ready with me and hear my random thoughts and my adventures with my eye, because there's a story there, just keep watching. All right, so today I'm filming with the back, the back camera, the, the back of the phone. I don't know, but let's see if it has any impact on how this all looks. I am going to use some new stuff that I got that prompted my no buy, which if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up in the cards above and I'll also link it down below. But some of the things that I purchased were at Dollar General um, and it's this brand called Believe Beauty. And I got a couple of items that I'm gonna use, this foundation, a glowy blush, a highlighter, and a lip liner. And then the other thing that I'm gonna focus on is the BH Cosmetics Smitten in Switzerland palette, which is this beautiful palette, which I'm so excited about. So, let's get into it. For primer today, I think, I don't really know how that foundation is going to work on me. Um, I already have my SPF on, so, I think I'm just gonna fill in my pores and then maybe that's that's it, then we'll see. As I said in my no buy video, one of the reasons, I'm sorry, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Pore Minimizing Primer. But um, one of the things that I'm hoping to accomplish with my no buy is to get a full understanding of my products. I, by nature, switch my products so often and just like based on how I feel on any given day. And the problem with that is that I have products around that I don't even know if I like them or not and they could be cluttering up my life. Don't mind this scratch right here. I scratched my own self with my nails, which are getting stronger by the way. I'm using this OPI Nail Envy. My sister suggested it, it's fabulous. So Allie Glines is the person who got me interested in this foundation. It's in a glass jar bottle. It has a pump, which is crazy because there's really expensive brands who don't have either of those things. I'm not quite sure on the color, but apparently that's my new thing. Can't actually pick out colors of foundation. So I'm going to buff this in using this CC Skin Perfecting Brush from It Cosmetics, which is just a good brush. So yeah, this is too light, I think. Get a little of my deep bronzy. Just to blend that out with. I'm filming this on actually July 1st. And my daughter, my youngest daughter, Eliana, she's turning four on July 5th. So we're just having some family over to celebrate her birthday and then we celebrate it again at my mom's house. My mom lives about an hour and a half away from me. So just blending this in, which is blending in very, very easily actually. I've been wearing my hair more natural like this. I will say, forget who taught me this. It might've been Carly Bible a very, very long time ago. That's my mirror. But Carly Bible talked about how she wanted to grow her hair and if you know her, her hair is incredibly long. And she talked about really making sure to not heat style her hair. And so I do like the natural texture of my hair. This is a texture that it looks like if I comb my hair really carefully after I take a shower and then go to sleep on it. So it's wavy, but it's been kind of like the curls have been kind of lengthened out. And then if I know I want to wear my hair like nice and curly at night, what I will do is put some product in my hair and then wrap it up into one or two buns depending on how curly I want it to be and that's when my curls really really form much better. Okay so for concealer, for concealer I'm going to use this Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. Some things about this concealer that people don't, basically some mistakes people use. You need the tiniest tiniest like smallest bout ever. I'll show you how much and you need to warm it up. So this is actually not a concealer that I apply with a brush or with a sponge, it needs to be warmed. So that is actually probably too much. I have this in the color light neutral. So what I do is I just warm that up using another finger and it spreads so much. It's like crazy. I should be using my ring finger, but I'm not. 
So then I just pat it out. Now this one I do feel like it really helps to set this concealer. Although I have used it where I just continuously pat out the where it settles in my lines and I like the result of that as well. So if you're not a person that likes uh, like powder on your face or you don't like powder on your under eyes because you have wrinkles or craving or whatever, then if you just tap it out, you eventually get to a place where you've kind of like moved all that extra product that is settling and then it works quite well. But I will say, so I'm still using it here. I have seen this concealer do, do some wonderful things. Today I'm going to set it using, basically everything I have here is new. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, I'm gonna set this using the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. So we'll see how these two things work together. I don't know whether they will work together well or not. So let me see if I, if you can see what I'm talking about. So I have two lines right here. I'm gonna give this a minute just to get fully warmed on my face before I set it. But we'll see how that settles as it goes. I'm getting these. What are these guys? What are those like dents in my face? What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. So while that's kind of living on my face for a minute, let me do my brows. I got the LA Color Browy Brow Pencil. I really need a brow pencil. And as it's just started my no by year, I will not be getting one because I have the Cabrow and I really do like the Cabrow, but I wanted something a little quicker. I really do like the It Cosmetics Brow Power, Power, I think that's what it's called, but I'm finding that it's moving on my face and I don't know if it was, you know, I didn't let my primer set enough or what, but I did my brows yesterday and then they were gone before I finished my makeup. So we're gonna try this one. I have no idea about the color or the formula, so. Let me just give my first impression here. Okay, so the color I got this in is dark. It's pretty warm, but I don't think it's too warm. Ooh, I like this spoolie. This is a tough one. So I actually do have something to talk about besides all this new makeup. Let's look at that concealer for a second. See, see, see the settling? Sorry for the eyeball, see the settling? So I'm just gonna tap that out and then let's set it now. So let me tell you what I did to my eye. So I've worn contacts for, oh my goodness, what am I? I'm almost 39. Um, and I've worn contacts since I was probably like 14. I think I got them when I was, did I get them in middle, middle school? I'm not sure. Anyway, I have a complicated eye history. I had an eye disease when I was a little girl called uveitis, which is an eye disease that only usually affects elderly people, but I had it at like age 11 and 12. It made my eyes like incredibly red, affected my vision. It was nuts. And they thought I was going to go blind. So, you know, when you hear you're going to go blind, it, it does something to you. I count steps unknowingly. I still catch myself doing that. And yeah, so... I'm careful with my eyeballs. I'm a big fan of them and I'd like to see. I haven't ever gotten LASIK surgery. I've wanted it, but um, I'm not really a candidate for it. Plus the idea of them doing both eyes at the same time without checking if the first eye works like really stresses me out. So I'm gonna use this. Oh my God, I'll have things to say about this soon. Um, it's humongous. So, now getting to what I did to my eye the other day. So I'm sitting here on Monday, Talk today is Wednesday, so two days ago. I'm sitting talking to my children while I'm getting ready and all three of them in the room and we're whatever, we're just talking. And I reach to my left and that's where I keep my contact solution, I put it, and you know like there's all these signs before you do something real stupid, that something really stupid is about to happen. So I remember noticing that the liquid was really liquidy, like more liquidy than usual. And I remember seeing these little, little dots in the bottom of my contact before I put it in my eye. Those things should have told me something was going on. So I put the contact in my eye and I thought I was going to die. I thought my eyeball was going to pop out of my face. What I had done was I put this product, 
I have it hidden now so I don't make this mistake again. This product, this Clean Care, which is great. No, it's called Clear Care. It's fabulous. It uses hydrogen peroxide to clean your lenses and it really, really cleans them very well. However, as you saw, there's a big red cap on it and it's in huge letters not to put it directly in your eye that it needs to neutralize in this special component, blah, 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 blah. So I, of course, know this. I, I am not... I am not like a person who's not going to read and understand the warnings. I'm for the warnings. I believe in the warnings and I like to live my life by the warnings. But I was talking to my children. I wasn't paying attention. So I put that directly in my eye. My eye burned so badly. I, I can't. I can't even explain. So I had to have the kids lead me to the bathroom and I'm flushing my eye and then removing my contact and crying trying to get this stuff out of my eye and it just it was a situation so I had to go to the doctor yesterday I thankfully did not do any permanent damage to my eye I correctly like um what's it called rinsed it out or air I washed it whatever um but it was really terrifying so I was hoping to film start filming my five looks with one palette on Monday, but haven't been able to wear makeup. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the Believe um, blush. If you didn't see, that was the Charlotte Tilbury New Airbrush Bronzer, and I cannot believe the pan size. It is enormous, um, but anyway, I'll let you know what my thoughts on that really expensive bronzer are, but the price per ounce has to be pretty high. So this is called High Tea. It's a very, very glowy blush. Kind of reminds me of Luminoso from Milani cult favorite. Let's see what we think about it on my face. Oh, it's glowy. So part of the problem with glowy blushes, but it does emphasize my pores. So this might be better if I put it on top of a matte bronzer and kind of use it as a, like a blush topper. I'm going to actually do my lips first, which I never do because I don't want a super intense look on my eyes today from that palette. So I just want to see what color this is. This is called Almost Rose. It's again from Believe Cosmetics. So it was like $4. And let's put this on. It's very creamy. I almost feel like this is a lipstick. I can't believe how creamy that is. It's unbelievable. Now I want to let it sit for a minute because Allie Glines talks about that it started getting tacky on her and I want to see what that's about. So let's get into the palette. So this is the Smitten in Switzerland palette from BH Cosmetics. I bought this with the Barcelona, beautiful in Barcelona one. This is it upside down. Today I'm just going to focus on maybe a little bit of fondue, chocolate, and the Alps, but the colors are really beautiful. Let me just swatch some of them. I just think it's such a pretty palette. Um, I always swatch the, let me swatch one of the mattes, but I always swatch the shimmers just because it's like, oh, pretty, look at me. So let's start. Um, I'm gonna use, what am I gonna use? I'm going to use this Morphe M441 brush. I always have my color switch, if you don't know about this, really if you like to use a lot of different colors you just rub your brush on here and it gets rid of the pigment on the brush it will still be a little stained from some of the colors but it allows you to have like a fresh almost like a fresh brush without cleaning them but you should clean your brushes which i do um okay so this is the color fondue and i'm just going to put this in my crease i didn't put any primer on which i'm going to stop right now and do that because what i noticed with the barcelona palette is that uh with these shadows, I did need a primer. There's some shadow, I mean, I, I really like to use primer all the time, and eye primer, it's always the Milani one. Um, I always like to use a primer. I think it just increases the longevity of my eyeshadow. So with my no buy, I'm not allowed to buy things using a gift card and then return it, but I need to think about what I should do with these items that I've purchased before my no buy. Can I return them and get a gift card? I probably just need to return them and get my money back is what the answer is going to be. There it is, there's the answer. 
Okay, so this is fondue over the lid. It's just deepening my crease a little bit. Nothing major. So I'm just going back and forth. I do a little bit of a circle, but then mostly just swiping back and forth. And I'm dipping in twice each time. I tap off any extra. I tap that off. Okay, so that's just with fondue. It's not super noticeable. If I put that on with a more with a more precise brush, let me use this one. This is from the Naked 2 palette. I like the brushes that are in here. Let me try just a little bit. It has a, a smaller brush. It's been a week, guys. It's been a week. Then my dog ate my glasses during the whole eye situation. Okay, so that did intensify it a little bit. Okay, with the same brush, I'm going to dip into Slope which actually is, um, I hope the camera's picking it up. It has quite a bit of green in it. I'm gonna do that for a little bit of fun. Didn't I say I wanted this to be simple? I already two shades in. And we're going for two more. I'm gonna switch to the Real Techniques Instapop crease brush, it has this interesting shape. And I'm gonna go into the chocolate color, literally called chocolate, and just pat some of that in this outer, the outer third of my eye. Oh, that's a pretty color. It's cool tone, can you tell it's cool tone? It's not a super warm chocolate, let me just blend this out a little bit. I'm covering most of that with my, with the shimmer shimmer a little bit. When I purchased online, I really thought I would like the Barcelona palette more. But I really think I like this one more. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to put Alps, which is this shimmery color, right on my lid. I'm using my finger, or should I use Geneva? I'm going to go for Alps. Alps is a bit more cool toned. how shiny that is. <laughs> that color reminds me of one of my favorite shades in the Persona palette. That's so pretty. Okay, cool. So we're going to do some eyeliner, but I just want to work on my lower lid. So I'm going to do the same things below that I did above. So I'm starting with fondue in the lower rim. And then I'll put a little of that slope, the green color, and then I'll end with the chocolate just in the outer corner. Okay, so then I'm gonna take a totally clean brush. This is a Mali Cosmetics brush that I got a long time ago, I love it. And I'm just gonna do a quick, just buff over everything. And then I don't always do this, but I'm gonna put a little bit of Snow Cap, which is the lightest shade in the palette right here. I'm just gonna go under my brow with that for a little bit of a highlight. And then what do we want in the inner rim? I think I'm just gonna bring Alps right around for the inner rim. I mean the inner corner. Okay, cool. So that's the eye look. So now the part that I'm really nervous about. I bought this fancy dandy brush. It's from Beauty Blender. Isn't this interesting shape? Can you see it well? I don't know if it's in focus, but this brush is supposed to make winged liner like super easy. So we're going to try it. I used the Bobbi Brown eyeliner before. I have liked it. So two two new things ish hang on while the brush attacks me but two things i haven't i have never used this and i haven't used this eyeliner in a while so i'm just gonna pick up some okay here goes nothing oh my god people that was really easy 
Mm, I don't like the inner corner. I've been struggling with that. Hmm. I don't usually take my eyeliner out this far. Okay. I think the brush is a winner. I think this black ink liner from Bobbi Brown is not as black as I'm used to. I mean, it's pretty black. <gasps> Look at that. Look at how it changed my eye shape. That's cool. Let's do that again. That's a good one too. Look at that at the end. Oh my gracious. What is this? This is magic. I might love that. I'll come back and report some more, but that was really easy. Okay, my inner corners have, I don't know, I, I think I'm just getting old and my inner corner is just not cooperating with anyone anymore. So let me clean that up a little bit and see what I, what I can do. All right, I think I love that. Okay, I'm just gonna line my inner rim with something. It's a Rimmel eyeliner and it's in that kind of brightening shade i'm just gonna do a little bit because sometimes i look a little crazy with this but my eyes are just looking a little rough today okay so now let's put on mascara this is not new this is a highly rated mascara from milani i'm gonna put this on and some thrive underneath and i will be right back with the finish look all right so i'm back with the finish look so here are my thoughts i think I'm obsessed with the, specifically the brush, um, the Beauty Blender brush. I'm gonna use it a little bit more and see what I think about it. Um, I think the eyeliner was good. I went over twice to make it a little bit blacker, but that could have been because I was, I had to do that more on this side because I was a little bit more nervous about using this brush for the first time. But I have heard you can tight line, so go in that inner rim with your uh, with the Bobbi Brown eyeliner, so I'm excited to try that. I think I really like this foundation. I've worn it for approximately 12 minutes right now, so I don't really know, but I think um, it looks pretty good for $5, amazing. The eyebrows look like regular, so I think that's, I think it was a $2 eyeliner. That'll work. Um, the bronzer, I need to think about. I have to think about that. Um, I'm not sure. And then as far as the under eyes, I'm not sure about that either. I have to try this out a little bit more. Uh, when I look straight ahead with all the light coming at me, it does look pretty good under the eyes. But when I get a close up, I still see some shadowing. So I'm not sure about that. But I think the standout, the two standouts at this moment are definitely this brush and this $5 foundation i have the color nude by the way um and like i said it was a little light but i'd rather a foundation be a little light that i can color correct i can add some more color to it rather than something being too dark i don't really have anything that lightens foundation really well for me i'll leave something down below to let you know how this foundation wore throughout the day and then i'll also be back trying these products a few more times and giving you my final thoughts about them my kids are coming in so see you later Bye bye <laughs>